All right, hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in. Uh, earthquake activity kind of ramping up here in Nevada. Uh, you can see the earthquake signature there near Gold Mountain, Nevada. Uh, this is coming off of a, it looks like a 3.0 earthquake at least. Uh, this earthquake showed up rather nicely as well on uh, Mammoth Lake. So I don't know. I think that's a little bit larger than a 3.0. Uh, considering the distance that this earthquake is showing up. Anyway, we're going to do a quick earthquake update here on uh, uh, tonight, which is Sunday night, May 24th, 2020. Uh, looks like Memorial Day is tomorrow. I've seen a lot of folks out there in Reno when I was out there in Nevada yesterday. Uh, a massive amount of people. In fact, uh, I, I was kind of surprised at the amount of people out there yesterday traveling around. Although I went through Reno at nighttime going down to Nevada and uh, it's pretty eerie to see no casino lights lit up during the nighttime hours out there in Nevada. Uh, it's pretty unreal. It almost looked like a normal town. No casinos in view. But uh, anyway, getting back to the earthquake activity, it looks like a 3.0, like I mentioned there, showing up in the state of Nevada down there near Gold Mountain. Uh, and right around the uh, area where I was at yesterday, uh, kind of doing a little bit of investigating down there. Uh, uh, trust me, I did a lot of investigating, driving around dirt roads, back roads, and pretty much everywhere in between to get to the epicenter areas of these earthquakes here in Nevada. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the USG ma USGS map here of uh, one day, all magnitudes, and uh, you can see the activity kind of on the ramp up out there in Nevada. Yesterday, not so much while I was out there. Just, it never fails. Uh, didn't get a whole lot of earthquake activity while I was out there. I did feel one small quake right around the uh, Candelera mountain range there in Nevada. It sits in between the towns of Mina and Coaldale uh, on Highway 95. Um, aside from the um, road issues there was some like road repair there from where the road cracked from the 6.5 there on 95 uh, that's about the only thing i've seen out there as far as any type of obvious sign that there was a major earthquake out there uh, just pretty in awe uh, to speak i did see a, a a massive solar plant out there as well just east of the earthquake region um crescent dunes i believe is the name of the uh of the uh operation out there just a massive solar plant uh, if you get a chance check it out in google there's a lot of information on it and it uh, produces quite a bit of power uh, looking at the map here of the one day all magnitudes here you can see most of the activity out there still within and west and east of the highway uh, this is highways three but that's also kind of 95 as well um, on this map if you guys can see that that's kind of in the general area where I was Where these newer quakes are happening Right here this red circle there. I was just to the south of there and to the north of there uh, I did some drone video to the north uh, Kind of around some ghost towns out there and also the live stream my first live stream I did out there uh, was just south of this blue circle near a ghost town called Columbus and that's where I felt the uh, the small earthquake that kind of jolted my car while I was out there. Uh, looking at the map today, like I said, activity is kind of increasing this evening. Uh, yesterday, not so much. It actually calmed down a tad bit. Uh, we haven't seen any major quakes, but this is a 3.0 that just struck over here on the west side of Highway 395 there. Highway 95 and 3, looks like a junction there. Um, over there in those mountains that you would probably see in the video that I uploaded there of the drone video that I took. Um, and that's kind of where all these earthquakes are taking place, consistent within the mountainous areas out there of Nevada. No surface rupture that I could see while I was out there anywhere except for the small road damage um, across Highway 95 there in Nevada. And... Uh, well, this 3.0 struck at about 14 kilometers below the surface there. Pretty deep. Oh, and I tell you what, man, I just... I'm going to try to get through this video, but my shoulder is absolutely killing me. I'm not for sure what happened, but uh, it's just definitely bugging me.
So, uh, yeah, it's just it's just kind of odd, folks. You know, I was hoping for activity to pick up out there while I was out there, but uh, it basically did the opposite of what I was hoping for. Uh, don't get me wrong, it was, a, it was an enjoyable trip, beautiful area, even though Nevada is uh, you know, pretty much desert, obviously. Uh, it was still awesome to get out there and see the rock structure and the i mean i tell you there's volcanic rock everywhere out there but uh none of this i never felt smelt any sulfur any type of emissions coming out of the ground no fissures no uh like i said no rock falls that i could see anyway um that were recent so it's pretty uh just eerie out there a lot of strange people <laughs> sorry you know it's just a lot of strange people now, i'm just being honest there it just uh people didn't seem too friendly uh, with me anyway while I was out there so yeah um, activity still kind of picking up tonight like I said over here down to the south Ridgecrest area seeing a little bit of increase in earthquake activity as well and also down here in Southern California we're kind of seeing an uptick in some uh, quaking activity down here towards the south end uh, of the Salton Sea just a couple small microquakes down there as well uh, but nothing nothing major folks going up here to the north we're looking uh, obviously pretty quiet up here around the triple conjunction area of the Mendocino fault system uh, which includes the uh, San Andreas fault uh, where it ends up there just uh, relatively quiet all around uh, the north area of California take a look at the earthquake 3d globe I'm gonna try and jump through this just real quick I might I tell you what my shoulders are really killing me Right shoulder, not for sure what happened. Um, out here on the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, looking still active, a lot of fours up through there, Indonesia, and uh, also down towards the, uh, uh, just to the west of the Fiji Islands area. Uh, quite a few fours popping off there, but near uh, Vanuatu, Vanuatu, I think I pronounced that correctly, out there in the uh, that neck of the woods. And a 5.6 there near New Zealand area. A little bit of interesting activity down here to the south part of the globe. A couple five pointers there popping off there north of Antarctica. 5.9 and a 5.1 striking out there today. Um, we've seen it before, but uh, this is kind of newer earthquake activity. Still interesting to point out. South America looking uh, like they've had a cluster of quakes out there but nothing big to speak of at the moment. Uh, yeah, so rel relatively, uh, I would say there's definitely average type earthquake activity out there today. So uh, I tell you what, hold on a second here, folks, hold on. I'm gonna bring this back up to the latest earthquake here, which is not gonna be that 2.5 going to be that three-pointer there. Like I said, it looks a little bit bigger than that showing up on the seismograph stations there, but uh, it is what it is. That's what the USGS is pointing out, a 3.0, so just look, looks a little bit bigger. It looks kind of like there's some, uh, just an increase in earthquake activity out there around Mammoth Lakes, but uh, most of this activity that you're seeing there is in Nevada region. This is just um, distance Distant earthquakes there showing up, being picked up by the uh, seismograph stations there in Memphis Lakes. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, man. For, for quite a few years there, I had to drive mobile equipment backwards there, and it was pretty uh, pretty bad on my right shoulder. So I think this is what's going on with me today. Just uh, killing me. It is absolutely killing me. Um, so anyway, folks, um, I do want to give a quick shout out to the folks that did donate to the channel to make the trip down there to Nevada happen. Um, you know, I do appreciate all the generous donations that, uh, was received here on the channel and, uh, that paid for the entire trip and gas down there, uh, to Nevada. And, uh, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot to, uh, to cover out there in Nevada. Quite a bit you know it's just a lot of dirt roads dusty roads and uh, like I said aside from the road structure damage I see no obvious sign of any major quake out there 
and uh, just just kind of strange, you know, just some eerie activity out there. And from what I can tell, most of the earthquake activity occurring in the mountain ranges there of the uh, Caldera Hills, there where the uh, drone video was taken, and also to the east of 95 there in those mountains as well. So I'm going to jump off here, folks, and uh, try to get my shoulder feeling a little bit better. We'll talk to you guys a little bit later.